The Deliverance of a Former Satanist Part 1. Brother, things are happening in the world today and they are not written in the Bible, and the devil is happy as many children of God are found in ignorance, the devil like to work and profit from the ignorance of God people, the Bible says the people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge, since the Bible does not mention all that is happening in the modern world, the Lord Jesus is updating his church about the new device of the enemy. Thus the Bible say, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, the law is the word of God that is the foundation, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shall meditate therein day and night, brother, given that the enemy is modernizing his strategy and device the Lord has allowed countless of his children to be rapture in heaven and hell in order to expose the modern strategy of the enemy. The Bible say to the law and to the testimonies, the first part is the law which is the word of God, however the edification of God children is not only in the word of God, for the Bible say to the law and the testimony, the Lord is manifesting to his people so that they will add a certain knowledge, there are mysteries and knowledge that elude theologians, even God people who have knowledge, thus, apart from the law the Lord has made available the testimony, the Lord wanted it to be like this for when you read the Bible from Genesis to the book of Revelation you will realize that there are things that happen in this world that are not mentioned in the Bible, it is the Lord himself who wanted the law to go together with testimony, which prove the veracity of the law that is the word of God, there are certain concrete elements of testimony which can attest the veracity of the word of God, I am a pastor of the evangelical church called Christ our salvation. I want to relate how the Lord found me in the abyss of magic and how he pulled me from the clutches of Satan, I was born in a Catholic family, I want to talk about my journey in occultism, the Lord Jesus Christ by his grace intervene in my life in the year 2003 which was the year of my liberation, for more or less 25 years I was in the service of the devil, and I started to serve him when I was 2 months old. I did not say two years but two months, we are dealing with a baby here, it was at the age of two months that I found myself in the service of Satan, I came to Satan not by my own will, but by people animated by wickedness, we must understand man is a spirit who dwells in a body which is an envelope, which is his external cover, in reality a man is a spirit that lives in a body, I come from a family of customary chiefs. A child in my family was supposed to be initiated and bestow power in order to be the customary chief, since my mother was pregnant, my family that was deep in witchcraft, had managed to bewitch my mother pregnancy, I was a baby in the womb when I was taken to the unseen world of witchcraft, which is not to be confused with the world of Satan, the unseen world of witches is a dimension between the world of Satan and the world of men. When we talk about the unseen world of witchcraft it is a world of transit, in order to reach the world of Satan one must transit and pass through the unseen world of witchcraft, I was supposed to receive power in the world of witchcraft in order to rule as a traditional chief, however, I was perceived by witches as having a female appearance, therefore, I could not be enthroned as a customary chief, at that moment I was of no use for the witches anymore. Thus I was abandoned in the unseen world of witchcraft, wizards know how to destroy but they do not know how to repair, they took my spirit from the womb of my mother and they led me to the world of witchcraft but they failed to return my spirit in my body in the womb, I was left abandoned in the astral world, while I was in this dimension, unclean spirit that were traveling from the world of Lucifer to the human world to cause wickedness spotted me in the world of witchcraft. These evil spirit captured me and they took me to the world of Lucifer, the world of Satan is called the world of pandemonium, that many call the unseen world or the parallel world, the world of Satan is divided into three parts, there is firstly the world of Tartarus, which is the place where the devil reigns together with the fallen angels, the angels who had been driven out with him from the upper heaven fell in what is called the Tartarus world, that is commonly called the second heaven. The devil and his fallen angels lived previously in the third heaven, following their rebellion they were driven out and they fell in the second heaven, Revelation 12 verse 12, Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, with great fury the devil has come down to you, 
knowing he has only a short time, brother, they did not fall directly on the earth but they landed in space, where they built a barrier called the cosmic force, after erecting this cosmic barrier the devil has built an army called the mystery of air, that is mentioned in Ephesians 2 verse 2, beside the the Tartarus world, the second world of Satan is what is called the Pelium world, it is in this universe that the devil reigns, together with the sirens and the five continental dragons, these dragon are the different beasts that the devil have bestowed power to control the continent, and these dragon are the totems of the five continents for they are rulers of the five continent, so when you take the African continent the devil has delegated two dragon, the lion and the leopard, in our country the Congo, the national anthem is either the lions or the leopard, it is these two dragon that the devil had already empowered to control the African continents, in America the dragon that rule the land has the likeness of an eagle, the Asian continent is ruled by a dragon that has the likeness of serpent, in the European continent the dragon that is ruling is a bear, and in the oceanic continent the dragon in power is an ostrich. These are the five continental dragon in power that are ruling the five continent in the Pelium world. The Pelium world is also divided into several realms, among this unseen realms there is the world Armstrong, the world Armstrong is also called the Marian domain, for it is ruled by a diabolical queen who answers in the name of Mary Margu, this evil queen is venerated in the Catholic Church under the name of Saint Mary the Virgin the Mother of God. This lady has several names according to the different countries where she is venerated, the Americans call her Makarana, the Arabs call her Ahisha, the Canaanian called her Astati, in Japan they call her Madonna, she was also called Diana in Ephesus, among the Egyptians she is Isis, among the Greeks she was called Aphrodite, the Chinese call her Xing Moon, an African writer who was also steeped in Satanism wrote a text that children recite in school. The author is from Guinea, he answered by the name of Kamarale, he had written a text praising this evil goddess and every child recited this text, for he claimed he wrote it in homage of his mother. The title were Black Woman and African Woman, when you analyze very well the text, the author speak of women of the field and women of river, he was actually paying homage to this evil queen though he claimed that he was paying homage to African woman. The world Armstrong is the department of Catholic magic, also called holy magic, holy magic is quite simply Satanism in Christian facade, in this form of magic people use the Bible and quote the name of Jesus, however the Jesus Christ mentioned in the Catholic religion is not Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is called PX in the world of Satan, he is also called Christ the King, I want to tell you that Christ the King is a demon who ruled in the world Armstrong. He is also venerated on earth in a solemn mass in November, that is held in his honor, note that holy magic is simply the Catholic magic which has two headquarter, the first is in the world Armstrong and the second is in the human world, it is a state in a state called the Vatican, the world Armstrong is ruled by the goddess Marie the Holy Virgin venerated in the unseen dimension, where she is called the mother of the gods, these gods mentioned here are in power ruling different world. When we speak of different world, we mean the sun and the different planets that revolve around the sun in our solar system, these planetary system forms what is called the different worlds, in every planet of the solar system there are dominion that are ruling. These dominion are called child gods and they ruled planet of our solar system. These child god are angelic power that are delegated to rule these different planets and it is these angelic power called dominion and child gods that govern planets of our system and they regulate human life during the seven days of the week, for the seven days of the week are governed by angelic power, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 the Bible say we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemy, but we are fighting against powers, authority, we are fighting against dominion who ruled planet of our solar system, these dominions are angelic powers that control the course of life according to the days of the week, notice that the seven days of the week bears the names of angelic powers ruling planet of our solar systems, indeed planet of our solar system bears the name of angelic power called dominion who ruled the days of the weeks, there is compatibility between the name of planet of our solar system and the name of the days of the week which they rules, for Monday refers to the dominion lunar, Tuesday is ruled by the Dominion Mars, Wednesday is ruled by the Dominion Mercury, 
Thursday is ruled by the Dominion Jupiter, Friday is ruled by the Dominion Venus, Saturday is ruled by the Dominion Saturn, Sunday is under the Sun God. When we read Ephesians 6 verse 12 the Apostle Paul talks about the organization of the satanic cosmos, we do not have to fight against flesh and blood, but the authorities, which is the prince of demon Belzebub, we are fighting against dominion, the angelic power that ruled planet of our solar system and the days of the week, we are fighting against principality that ruled city, town and villages and other entities such as region and municipality. Principality are not to be confused with prince that ruled country, kingdom and empire, we are fighting against wicked spirit, these are the spirits which are charged to kill they are also called the spirits of death, we are fighting against occultisms and we are fighting against witchcraft, our fight is not carnal but it is a fight which is spiritual, the so called flowchart of the cosmos that has seven degrees, and the flowchart in the one dollar bill which is represented in the form of a pyramid having the eye of Horus depict the organization of the cosmos of Satan, the third part of the world of Satan is what we call the astral world, this is quite simply the place where the sinners go after death, people think that death is the end, but that is not true, death is the beginning of another life, there is an appointment at which no one can escape and this appointment is death, there is no one who can escape death, the astral world is also divided into three parts, the first part is called the district of slaves, and the second part is the furnace of Satan, the third part it is the abode of the dead, the first part which is the district of the slaves is a place where people who live in sin go when they die, this place has burning ash on the ground, people walk on it, the second part that is the furnace of Satan, is the place where I saw true Christians who during their earthly life fought the devil with prayer of combat, they destabilizes the organization of the devil, but before dying they compromised, when they died they fell here, after serving the devil for years I was elevated in dignity and I became the secretary of Lucifer in the temple of India, I lived in India physically, after years I was promoted in the function of the representative of the third degree in the mystery of air, thus I became a member of the government of Satan. Since I had reached a highest level in the occult I had reached the ceiling, there are ceiling level in the occult that require the initiate to die willingly in order to move to the next level, I served the devil for so many years and when I had reached the ceiling, the devil said, in order to reach the next level which is divinity and immortality, you have to die willingly, this is called the ritual of good death, I was proposed to die before the time set by God, in order to serve the devil in his kingdom so that the remaining years of my life would be spent in his kingdom, thus, I had agreed to die in a rituals called the good death, I had to die in order to reach divinity and immortality in order to rule the department prepared for me in the world of sirens and dragon, where I was supposed to be invoked and summoned by satanist from all over the world, I was to rule the sector of the realm of sea creatures and dragon where my role was to lead newly initiated satanist to the white castle to meet satan for the first time, in the end I signed a pact with the devil to die before my time in order to acquire divinity and immortality, and to rule a department of the world of pillion of sirens and dragons, where I was supposed to be a highly elevated spirit invoked all over the world by the initiates when one is in magic there is a ceiling which one cannot exceed as a human being, this is called graduation in magic, what happened beyond this level called graduation is called the good death, when I had signed the pact with the devil for immortality and divinity, I went on to find a woman because I decided to have a child in order to leave a progeny behind me, I found a woman and when this woman gave birth to a baby for me, the devil is a liar for after having a baby girl the devil asked me to offer him my wife and new baby girl in human sacrifice, this was right before my death, that's where my trouble began, I agreed to die to get divinity and immortality but I was not ready to kill my new baby and her mother, I didn't know what to do, it was the first time I had been asked to give two family members, that was a little difficult, while I was considering my option. I was summoned to attend a meeting organized by the devil in his white castle, we were in this meeting and there were different missions which had been entrusted to the different satanists, we were in this meeting there before speaking on the point which is on the agenda it was necessary to start with the report, 
Each Satanist was obliged to give report of the mission which had been entrusted to him. I was the ninth Satanist. When it was the turn of the fifteenth Satanist, he began to explain how he had failed in his mission, and Satan was furious, in wanting to explain the causes of failure he had mistakenly cited the name Jesus Christ, when he had cited this names we were all thrown, and we fell on the ground, and even the devil had fallen from his seat and he was on the floor, and at the end of the meeting when we returned, I did my little analysis, I said to myself the devil say his power was at the top. I had an ultimatum which was already imposed on me to sacrifice the two members of my family, and the deadline was February the 3rd of 2003, so when I did the analysis I thought to myself how Satan could have fallen just because someone had mentioned the name of Jesus, I understood that apart from the power of Satan there was another power which exceeds that of Satan, and this power is in the name that was cited which is the name of Jesus, finally I said to myself, if I can establish contact with this name of Jesus I would be delivered from Satan, it was then I began to seek deliverance, when we